James Francis Edward, Prince of Wales, nicknamed the Old Pretender, was the son of the deposed James II of England and Ireland, Seven of Scotland. As such, he claimed the English, Scottish and Irish thrones from the death of his father in 1701, when he was recognised as King of England, Scotland and Ireland by his cousin Louis XIV of France. Following his death in 1766, he was succeeded by his son Charles Edward Stuart in the Jacobite succession. Had his father not been deposed, Great Britain would have had only two monarchs during his lifetime. His father and himself, but instead there were seven. His father, William III, Mary II, Anne, George I, George II and George III. Although the ruling Protestant Stuarts died out with his half-sister, Queen Anne, the last remaining Stuarts were James and his sons, and their endeavours to reclaim the throne while remaining devoted to their Catholic faith are remembered in history as Jacobitism. Birth and Childhood From the moment of his birth, on June 10, 1688, at St. James's Palace, the prince was the subject of controversy. He was born to the reigning king, James II of England and Ireland, and his Roman Catholic second wife, Mary of Modena, and as such was automatically Duke of Cornwall and Duke of Rothesay, among other titles. The wars of religion were fresh in the minds of the populace, and many British feared a revived Catholic dominance of the government. James II had two adult daughters from his first marriage, the future Queen's Princess Mary and Princess Anne, who had been raised as Protestants. As long as there was a possibility of one of them succeeding him, his opponents saw his rule as only a temporary aberration. When people began to fear that James's second wife, Mary, would produce a Catholic son and heir, a movement grew to replace him with his elder daughter Princess Mary and his son-in-law nephew, William of Orange. When the young prince was born, rumours immediately began to spread that he was an imposter baby, smuggled into the royal birth chamber in a warming pan. The true child of James and Mary was allegedly stillborn. In an attempt to scotch this myth, James published the testimonies of over seventy witnesses to the birth. On December 10, within six months of his birth, Mary of Modena took baby James to France, worried about his safety while his father continued to fight to retain his crown. James and his sister Louisa Maria were brought up in France. There, James was recognized by his cousin, King Louis XIV of France, as the rightful heir to the English and Scottish thrones and became the focus for the Jacobite movement. Struggle for the throne, on his father's death in 1701, James declared himself king, as King James III of England a native Scotland and was recognized as such by France, Spain, the Papal States and Modena. These states refused to recognize William III, Mary II or Queen Anne as legitimate sovereigns. As a result of his claiming his father's lost thrones, James was attainted for treason in London on March 2, 1702, and his titles were forfeited under English law. Equals Jacobite rising equals Though delayed in France by an attack of measles, James attempted an invasion, trying to land at the Firth of Forth on March 23, 1708. The fleet of Admiral Sir George Byng intercepted his French ships, and in spite of James' tearful pleas, the French admiral refused to let him go ashore, choosing to retreat rather than risk a naval battle. In Augusta Euro September 1710 Queen Anne appointed a new Tory administration led by Robert Harley who entered into a secret correspondence with the French Minister of Foreign Affairs, de Torcy, and claimed to desire James's restoration to the throne if James converted to Protestantism. However, a year later the British government pushed for James's expulsion from France as a precondition for a peace treaty with France. In accordance with the Treaty of Utrecht, Harley and the Secretary of State, Lord Bolingbroke, colluded with the French in exiling James to the Duchy of Lorraine which bordered France. Queen Anne became severely ill at Christmas 1713 and seemed close to death. In January 1714 she recovered but clearly had not much longer to live. Through de Torcy and his London agent, Abba Copyright from a section War Gaultier, Harley kept up the correspondence with James, and Bolingbroke had also entered into a separate correspondence with him. They both said to James his conversion to Protestantism would facilitate his restoration. However James, a devout Catholic, said to Torsi, I have chosen my own course, 
therefore it is for others to change their sentiments. In March came James's refusal to convert and Harley and Bolingbroke came to see James's restoration as infeasible, though they maintain their correspondence with him. As a result, in August 1714, James's second cousin, George of Hanover, a German-speaking Protestant became king of the recently created Kingdom of Great Britain. Equals the 15 equals. In the following year Scottish Jacobites started the 15 Jacobite Rising in Scotland, aimed at putting James III and VIII on the throne. On December 22, 1715, James finally set foot on Scottish soil, following the indecisive Battle of Sheriff Mew, but was disappointed by the strength of support he found. Timid and clearly uncomfortable with crowds, James failed to establish himself as a credible leader. He soon fell ill with fever, his illness made more severe by the icy Scottish winter. Instead of going through with plans for a coronation at Schoon, he returned to France, sailing from Montrose on February 5, 1716. He was not welcomed on his return, his patron, Louis XIV, had died on September 1, 1715 and the French government found him a political embarrassment. Life as Pretender Pope Clement XI offered James the Palazzo Muti in Rome as his residence, and he accepted. Innocent XIII, like his predecessor, showed much support. Thanks to the mediation of a close friend of his, Cardinal Filippo Antonio Gualtrio, James was granted a life annuity of 8,000 Roman scudi. Such help enabled him to organize a Roman Jacobite court, where he lived in splendor yet continued to suffer from fits of melancholy and depression. As the years passed, young roving Jamie became known as Old Mr. Misfortunate. He grew increasingly feeble and despondent, taking on the appearance and behavior of a much older man. The cruel and unflattering nickname reflected both his sad demeanor and the disappointment of his hopes. Nevertheless, he remained well treated in Rome until the end of his life. The Pope's cousin, Francesco Maria Conti of Siena, was the gentiluomo di camera. Equals marriage equals, Louise Ada copyright Lord Adorna copyright Anne's, daughter of Philippe II, Duke of Orla copyright Anne's, was at one time suggested as a wife for James Francis Edward Stuart, but nothing came of it. On September 3, 1719, James Francis Edward Stuart married Maria Clementina Sobieska, granddaughter of King John III Sobieski of Poland. The wedding was held in the chapel of the Episcopal Palace in Montefiascon. They had two sons, Charles Edward Stuart, nicknamed Bonnie Prince Charlie, Henry Benedict Stuart, Cardinal of the Roman Catholic Church. Equals Bonnie Prince Charlie equals, following James's failure, attention turned to his son Charles, the young pretender, whose rebellion of 1745 came much closer to success than his father's. With the failure of this second rebellion, however, the Stuart hopes of regaining the British throne were effectively destroyed. James and Charles later clashed repeatedly, and relations between them broke down completely when James played a role in the election of his son Henry as a cardinal, infuriating Charles, who had not been consulted. In 1759 the French government briefly considered a scheme to have James crowned King of Ireland, as part of their plans to invade Britain, but the offer was never formally made to James. Several separate plans also involved Charles being given control of a French-backed independent island. Equals death equals, James died in Rome on January 1, 1766, and was buried in the crypt of St. Peter's Basilica at the Vatican. His burial is marked by the monument to the royal Stuarts. Refusing to recognize James's eldest son Charles, from January 14 the papacy instead accepted the Hanoverian dynasty as the legitimate rulers of Britain and Ireland. This led on to the slow reform of the anti-Catholic penal laws in Britain and Ireland. In 1792 the papacy specifically referred to George III as the King of Great Britain and Ireland, leading to a protest from James's second son, Henry, who was then the Jacobite claimant. Titles and Honours James was created Prince of Wales on July 4, 1688. Equals honours equals. Jacobite, K.G., Knight of the Garter, 1692 a Euro 1766. Equals arms equals, as Prince of Wales, James bore a coat of arms consisting of those of the kingdom, 
differenced by a label argent of three points. Cultural depictions, James was portrayed by Freddie Wilson in BBC serial The First Churchills. Ancestry. See also, Monument to the Royal Stuarts, Touch Pieces The Cure of Scrofula or the King's Evil, Correspondence with James the Pretender Act 1701 Parliament's response to his claim to the throne. Notes and sources.